coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Progress is being made at the new Chinook Power Station just outside of Swift Current. Four crews of approximately 250 laborers on site are busy working on the construction of the 350 megawatt combined natural gas facility. Various gatherings and other celebrations are in abundance this time of the year, as many mark the holiday season. And along with enjoying yourself for the evening, is ensuring the roadway is safe for everyone. As the temperatures continue to cool off throughout the winter season, your furnace will be working hard to keep your home warm inside. Carbon monoxide is also something you should be concerned about, as it's a colorless, odorless and deadly gas. Thanks for joining us here today. As work continues at the site of the new Chinook Power Station in Swift Current, we take you on a behind-the-scenes tour. Progress is being made at the new Chinook Power Station just outside of Swift Current. Four crews of approximately 250 laborers on site are busy working on the construction of the 350 megawatt combined natural gas facility. Dewey Cook is the senior site manager for Burns & McDonnell, the main contractor for the project and explains how the facility will work once completed. We've got a gas turbine and a gas generator, and uh, that's been fed by uh, the gas supply coming off site. And once that starts spinning up, that produces about 200 megawatts of energy. Uh, that'll hit the grid here for SAS power. And then we, we take the, the power off that. that we, we've got an HRSG here, a uh, heat recovery steam generator, like a big boiler. And what it does, it superheats the steam and turns it, it turns, heats the water and turns it into steam. And we use that to power a steam generator, a steam turbine steam generator. And that does about another 150 megawatts. So between the two, about 350 megawatts that they'll produce and come over here and hit the power grid. And with approximately 130,000 cubic meters of soil dug since January and various equipment on site, the crews will now have to reach certain milestones, including the installation of the generators within the main building which is now taking shape. We've got these, these steam tube bundles going in, uh, going in HRSG. There's 12 sets of them. They, they're, they're about 120 foot long, and they weigh, you know, 160, 170,000 pounds, different weights. So we're trying to get them all set in. We've been shut down from the wind here and there. We've got, we got four more to go. So hopefully by the end of this weekend, we'll have all of them set, which is which be a milestone for the project. And we've been trying, we've got one trying to stand today, and another one get up this afternoon. So. You know, it's a, it's a push to get that happening, but we got nice weather today, finally. You know, cranes are only working like 20 mile an hour winds, and when it gets over that, we got to shut them down. So we've been battling that, and, and here in Saskatchewan, it does blow. So we're standing close to 300 foot tall on the booms, and we got, you know, we're picking up essentially a big kite in there, so we don't want that blowing all around. And safety is one of the main reasons we work out here, and it's, uh, we try to do it the best we can. A state-of-the-art facility, which once completed, will enhance the growing need for power across the province. In terms of uh, capacity, uh, SAS Power hit their peak uh, capacity loads this past summer, about a little over 3,400 megawatts. So if you think of it in terms like that, this plant is going to produce about 10%. And as the months progress, it's anticipated that close to 450 laborers will be on site, assisting with the completion of the new Chinook Power Station. The project is valued at approximately $550 million and is on budget and on time and is set for completion by October of 2019. Well, as we head into that time of year of holiday celebrations, motorists are being reminded to have a safe ride home. Various gatherings and other celebrations are in abundance this time of the year, as many mark the holiday season. And along with enjoying yourself for the evening, is ensuring the roadway is safe for everyone. And it all starts with having a designated driver. Uh, you know, Santa isn't the only one who's going to be watching who's bad or good. P police will be out in force during the holiday season, watching for impaired drivers and keeping our roads safe. And with uh, added police enforcement year-round across Saskatchewan and some of the country's toughest impaired driving laws, um, it's, uh, it's very important that people always plan a safe ride home before they go out. The consequences of driving while under the influence of alcohol or drugs can start with a hefty fine to dramatically changing your life and that of others out on the roadway. 
now if you're over 0.08 or if you refuse a, a, a breathalyzer or charge with impaired driving under the criminal code, there, you know, there's obviously significant fines and the potential for jail time. But even um, if you are in that uh, range of uh, 0 0.04 to 0 0.08, um, there are uh, some very strict consequences, inc including uh, uh, a three-day license suspension, a three-day vehicle se seizure, and you have to complete a DWI course. Um, and uh, for new drivers, for those in the graduated driver's licensing program and, and anyone 21 years of age and under, um, there is zero tolerance for alcohol and drugs uh, if you were driving. According to stats from SGI, in 2016, 57 fatalities were reported on Saskatchewan roadways due to impaired driving. For over 12 years, Southwest TV News has provided the visuals for the defining moments in our community. Support your community and help us to continue our work. Support our sponsors by watching the ads on YouTube and by clicking the ads on our website. Pennies per click, which will help us continue to bring you the award-winning news coverage you've come to expect from Southwest TV News. The furnace is the hardest working appliance in your home throughout the winter season, and you're reminded to change your furnace filters often. As the temperatures continue to cool off throughout the winter season, your furnace will be working hard to keep your home warm inside. And therefore, you're reminded of the importance of regular furnace maintenance by a professional and the simple task of cleaning your furnace filter, which can not only save you money on your energy bill, but keep the indoor air fresh. And uh, know what kind of furnace filter uh, you need and get yourself uh, a good supply of them for the whole winter. And when the really, really cold weather comes, uh, you're probably needing to, uh, need, to re, uh, need to replace that furnace filter monthly. So get, get a half a dozen of them and then you're, you're, you're set. Carbon monoxide is also something you should be concerned about, as it's a colorless, odorless and deadly gas, which if undetected, can lead to several fatal cases of poisoning each year. Ideally, carbon monoxide detectors should be installed away from doorways as to not detect gasoline embers from any attached garage or the outdoors. And the unit should be tested on a regular basis and replaced every few years according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews. Thank you.